Sons of the Forest was one of the games I was most excited about. The original forest had fun gameplay and honestly a pretty cool story as well as cave exploring. Sons of the Forest, the second game, essentially got a beta test release on February 23rd. This is how it went. Like every other survival sandbox game, it starts with us in a helicopter. Yeah, wait, this game actually looks decent. But, uh oh, someone shot at us. We somehow survived this. shoot his gun. I decide to test the most important game mechanic, if you can hurt your friends. Oh, what the? There's the hatchet. What happens if I die? One thing that's really cool about this game is the new respawning mechanic. Instead of making you respawn all the way back at the plane, like in the forest, you'll respawn in the nearest camp. Listen guys, can you pick up a backpack any slower? Enough we go. <laughs> I've died literally like four- Bro, they just one-shot me. Alright, I'm gonna go to the exclamation mark. What? I'm underwater? But I'm cutting the rope off. A fishy! What? Why did I die again? Oh, that's so cool that you can tell them what to do. gonna die. What part of caving makes you think we were gonna live? What the? Parallel universes and travel. You can make a sled. Ew. <laughs> These key cards were the source of so much pain. What the? All right, let's go to the cave. Crunchy Wunchy. Hey guys, can you please move? Arrows weren't working, so we did something a little more drastic. Yep. I'm oh, they just. <laughs> well, I'm down. Whoa. Bro, I just spawned! Skulls. What is this? <laughs> Forest war. A rope gun? Oof. You'd be dead. Skid <laughs> gun. Ow! <laughs> Way too long. Look at this. I need these key cards. I know. It wasn't from the part. Oh. Ah. Oh, it's done, dude. You only get one shot with a stun gun. Whoa, I found a rebreather. <laughs> This is horrifying. Bro, oh, this sledge just makes it so I like don't even take fall damage. <laughs> this is where the shovel is. So this is the invisible wall part. Oh, shovel, shovel. Shovel. I found the key card. Dude, I'm in the floor. <laughs> we need another key card. Oh, oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. I don't know what I did differently, but we take it. <laughs> Come 
Guess we go in here. Ew. Oh, what the fuck? Why am I running over to it? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is happening? What? I don't know. Who are these people? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? So what? <laughs> Safe and cube. Ah! There is a guy in there. Hello? <laughs> Spencer, Spencer, this is the mask you need. Hurry, grab it, grab it. After retracing our steps, we got the card we needed. They're related to the cube. All right, here's the end of the game. So you remember when I grabbed the golden mask? Well, it turns out it wasn't the golden mask I was supposed to grab. It was the golden armor. <laughs> well, here's the Goopia golden armor. All right, boys. See, I'm fast forwarding through this because I want you guys to know how boring and annoying it was to walk for 20 minutes doing nothing. Finally, we reached it. What secrets did the cube possess? What exactly was it? What the? Who are these people? I don't know. <laughs> okay, 13 seconds. What? <laughs> Ain't no way that this is the end? The lack of dialogue makes it better. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, Spencer, there's a question. There's a thingy right here. My backpack. Fight me. Why did it become night? <laughs> I don't know. Can I get in the airplane? Why are they leaving? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this game? We have literally played 10.2 hours to get that. <laughs>